Sebastian Vettel carried his first practice speed into FP2, looking lightning fast until a slide at Pouin sent him out wide. But nothing could stop Charles Leclerc, who flew to an impressive lap of 1 minute 44.123, over six tenths faster than his teammate as the two Ferraris looked the class of the field. Having missed half of first practice, Lewis Hamilton's tough Friday continued. The championship leader struggling with his vision. Strange helmet. There's coming in. Burn dirt. Sand into miles. Dust. Red Bull new boy Alex Albon has a new engine. And that will see him start at the back of the grid in Sunday's race. The team, however, has opted to leave Max Verstappen with his old power unit, leaving the Dutchman complaining about his car. Um, just before I started braking for the last chicane, I heard, I heard something in the engine turn off. A superb showing from Sergio Perez saw him squeezing into P5, just ahead of Verstappen. But a fire late on brought an impressive day to an unhappy end for the Racing Point team. Toro Rosso and the McLaren drivers were attempting to gain every advantage possible and were trying to give each other a slipstream to offer a speed advantage. Puffs of blue smoke emanating from Lando Norris's car as it bottomed out through Eau Rouge. So Charles Leclerc are cut above the rest with his teammate and the two Mercedes of Bottas and Hamilton, the best part of a second behind. Perez and Lance Stroll impressed in P5 and P8 respectively, while four-time Spa winner Kimi Raikkonen was seventh fastest for Alfa Romeo. Albon ended up tenth, four tenths of a second behind Verstappen in P6, but with his focus entirely on race pace for Sunday's Grand Prix. Pierre Gasly's first day back at Toro Rosso wasn't the happiest, three places behind Danik Fiat in 17th while George Russell was back in the cockpit, having spent first practice watching from the pit wall, but was still half a second faster than teammate Robert Kubica at the bottom of the timesheets.